Mastering Word Transformation Verbs to Nouns in English Hello language learners! Today we're diving deep into the world of English language transformations, specifically focusing on transforming verbs into nouns. This is an advanced topic that can significantly boost your English vocabulary and understanding. Verbs, as you know, are action words. They represent doing something, like run, think, play, and so on. Nouns, on the other hand, represent a person, place, thing, or idea. The magic of English language is that we can often transform verbs into nouns, giving us a whole new perspective on an action. For example, run, is a verb. But when we talk about a run, as in, I had a good run this morning, we have transformed it into a noun. Let's explore this concept more. The simplest transformations involve adding a suffix or making a slight modification to the verb. For instance, the verb react can become the noun reaction. The verb invent can become invention. Here, we are adding the suffixes ion and tion, respectively to make the transformations. There are many other suffixes we could use like meant, ants, ants, ity, and ness. For example, develop to development, accept to acceptance, confide to confidence, real to reality, happy to happiness. Some transformations aren't as straightforward and might involve more substantial changes to the word. Take see, for instance. We don't say seon or cement. Instead, the noun form is sight. Similarly, do becomes deed and go becomes journey. These are examples where the transformation involves a significant change to the word. In some cases, there may not be a direct noun form at all. In such scenarios, we often use gerunds, verb forms ending in ing, as nouns. For example, singing in singing is fun. So, there you have it. From simple suffix additions to more complex transformations, we've explored various ways in which we can turn verbs into nouns in English. Remember, practice is key. Try using these transformations in your daily conversations and writing to really solidify your understanding. We hope this video has helped in your journey to mastering the English language. Stay curious, keep learning, and until next time, happy studying.